Hello, my name is Teresa Stack. I am an associate professor at Montana Tech. Welcome to Industrial Hygiene 5686, Advanced Ergonomics. I am your instructor for this course. Uh, the text that you will need is the one that I wrote with Dr. Ostrom. It's called Occupational Ergonomics, a Practical Approach, and it encompasses um, much of my 19-year career with the United States Navy. And so it's um, a technical book written at a really practical level, but a lot of the examples are from the United States Navy. So I hope you enjoy that. You will uh, need this text. It's available at our bookstore from Amazon. It's also available um, as an ebook. So if you don't want to buy it, I think you can rent it or get it as an ebook. So I wanted to take this opportunity to introduce myself to you as I don't get to see many of the master students until they come on um, campus for the residency and they take sampling. But I'm going to just take this time to show you how the course um, works. So as you can see, I pulled up the advanced ergonomics course as you would see it as a student. And so this course is hyperlinked. When you scroll down, um, everything is closed in and you um, can't really see anything. So you could link through the course this way, but to avoid the scroll of death, you can just use the landing page as a way to hit on the welcome section. So everything that's in brown has a hyperlink. And I will agree that Moodle is a little bit clunky to navigate, but the way this course is set up is down over here you can see the weekly topics and these are the weeks that the topic is beginning for the summer section. Please note that some of them are doubled up. They go together that way, but um, there and also that because the summer session is shorter, you have some optional um, uh, session sections that you may want to cover because it's relevant to your particular area. So that would be hand tools and office ergonomics. You can see how these are um, optional. And where they fit in, this one fits in really good with workstation design or survey tools. And a hand tools fits in with uh, survey tools as well as upper extremity musculoskeletal disorders. So you won't be tested on them, but if you want to incorporate them into your learning, they're there for you. So if I scroll back up, you can see that the calendar shows up here. The calendar does um, mark to some degree uh, due dates. You can see your first due date here is, um, well, that's not your first due date, but a due date is pulls it up, pull it up. Don't completely trust the calendar. Definitely go through and click on the assignment area. So this is where all your assignments are listed. And this is where Moodle is a little clunky. That's the landing page, but here open, uh, that opened up underneath the landing page, which is always on the top in this course, are your uh, assignments and when they're due. So some of them show up on the calendar, but these blog ones for some reason don't show up on the calendar. Um, I don't know why. Hopefully we can take care of that with Moodle. So that's where your assignments are listed. There's only one exam for this class. <clears throat> you will need the text. The exam is listed here. It's open notes, open book. It'll be um, open for a week. I scheduled it, try to schedule it strategically around the 4th of July weekend so that you can um, either get it done before or after but not have um, any other deliverables, deliverables to do or to um, either read assignments. You won't have to do any of that and the exam will be the only thing done. I think that's um, probably lightens the load more so than going through the uh, course material. So the way the course is laid out, so logistics section or the welcome section, that's where the, um, you'll find the description about the course as well as the syllabus. So this is the syllabus for the course. Most of this information is also available uh, on the web page, which includes the course description. 
You can see the student outcomes which you're trying to meet when you take this course. So we're trying to we're trying to help you meet when you take this course. The topics that will be covered, which is the same as on the landing page. The way your grade is calculated and what that grade means as far as um, A, B, A plus goes. And then I probably the most important would be the way the course is met, weighted for you um, on the professional track. That's 50% your assignments, 20% your exam, and 30% your project. So your project is your final exam in a sense because there's only um, one exam in this uh, course besides your final project, which is accumulation of everything that we'll be learning together. All right, so we're back to uh, the navigation page. So the first topic would be the basics of ergonomics. You see how I'm hitting the link here. It shows you that there's five files and five URLs. Here's your lesson. Um, you can see that you can either that um, shoot. So let's take a look at a typical lesson. This lesson, the uh, introduction to ergonomics or the basics, will start on May 30th, the first week of classes. And for the intro to ergo, there's three files and five URLs. Here's the lesson plan. The lesson plan is um, available on YouTube. So if you select this link, there will be a recorded version available for you. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the first, first learning unit, unit the, the basics, basics of. of. And I'm going to uh, re record some of these. If you don't care for the YouTube version, so the YouTube link would be here. This is um, the PowerPoint, which if you wanted to use it for some reason, um, reference it as I'm going through the slides that are on the YouTube version that's there for you. That's the non-recorded, non-audio version. And then there's some um, other videos that were part of the unrecorded version and um, maybe didn't work so well in YouTube version. As far as your reading, your reading for the class is um, underneath the lesson. So read chapter two, the basics of ergonomics. I think usually it's better if you read or breeze through the chapter before you actually listen to the recording as it kind of cements the information in there. Maybe it's different for distant students, but I find that that works best for our on-campus graduate students. And there's some other additional um, information in here as well as which this um, PowerPoint presentation here, which you certainly don't have to uh, take a look at. I guess it's gonna take a while to load, but um, I show you a project that I worked on with the- Come on again. We, we lost an engine! engine. So I show you a project that I worked on with the Navy, and this is the before picture, so you would be able to go to this YouTube um, link and take a look at it. And then the PowerPoint will also uh, show you the after solution. And so this is an example of um, some really advanced engineering ergonomic solutions that were implemented in the Navy, something that I um, worked on as part of my career. And so there may be different areas in which um, your information, we can share this with the class. So that is, one thing that I do in this class is that I share the information that um, that you um, hand in and turn in in your assignments. So I'm back to the web page and I'm showing you where there's some optional materials here, additional reading or videos that you could look at or not look at. The main um, proportion of your lesson will be up here. Um, we are going to share some ideas in this class, and so where you would find that as far as the uh, class goes. So there's a number of ways to do that, but probably the easiest way is to go back to the landing page and click on the assignments. And 
and this is the assignments page, and you can see that um, I posted um, some solutions. So find it, fix it. This is assignment number five, and these are the solutions that some students had um, submitted for that. This is last year's class. So I have some examples so you could see what other people had done, have done in the past and come up with your own ideas. And then this really works to share and integrate information through the class so you can see what some of your other uh, classmates are doing, which I think is really important as far as ergo goes because it's such a vast, diverse field that you could implement ergonomics many different ways in different industries. And so if you submit something that's part of a work project and you don't want it shared, just let me know and I won't, um, I won't share it with the class. So that's not a problem either as well. So there's the assignment page. Um, the last thing I'll show you is that um, if you search my name on YouTube, these are all my videos that I have posted um, that I use uh, for the ergonomics class and other classes like walking and working surfaces. And so that information is there for you, but you can you don't have to go to YouTube and search it just by going through the learning section. Those links will be there for you and you can uh, go back and forth and then there's some optional information. Some have more than others. I think that describes to you pretty much the way the um, course goes. And so this is just, uh, again, this is additional information, but I'm kind of showing you that it's out there if you wanted to use it. And this is the solution of the way the, um, the so what you saw in the video were Navy SEALs that were going down the water, and they were getting um, exposed to this jarring uh, motion when the boat was going across the, um, the chop in the water. These guys actually are the craft masters and so they deliver the seals to their mission and this is an example of how we um, put the solution together we justified what was um, occurring and how many people were being hurt and we show that this really is um, a combination at least in the Navy of human factors um, ergonomics and safety engineering as well as just um, preserving the readiness of the forces and these are the solutions that um, we came up with were these air ride seats that are able to absorb some of that motion. And we also um, brought the control panel or the um, throttle into a more um, position in which people were able to reach onto it and not lean forward or back. And that keeps you in a more upright posture, which enables you to um, take the jolt of ergonomics or take the jolt improve your ergonomics, absorb the jolt better when you're going across the water, is to be in the neutral posture. And we'll talk about that stuff too. I think that's good for an introduction. Um, send me an email if you need to. My contact information is um, up here. You can send me, uh, if you happen to send me a text, just identify yourself who you are, what the question is that you have. I think um, I usually respond to email though pretty quickly. Uh, you do have a final project in this class, and that information is there, which is accumulation of everything else that you'll um, learn. So take a look around. I hope this is helpful to you, and uh, have a great day.